Hello everyone, within the PLC guide, programming guide for beginners, I thought that maybe someone of you uh, encountered with a problem in starting PLC to know the elements. Today I'm going to show you within the PLC guide for beginners the very basics of timers in Siemens logo software for pro PLC programming. Let's open the, our program. Here I draw some uh, very basic and very simple schemes of timers. I uh, utilize the approximately all timers except this weekly, yearly, asynchronous stopwatch timers. You might be don't need, will not need these ones. The uh, main uh, purpose of using timers in PLC logo softwares is all about the waiting and to uh, stabil stabilizing something by timing and timing is also important part of in PLC and let's start with timers which is situated here first one is on delay timer which uh, I replace in the first place when I two times clicked on th this uh, uh, element when each element opens their uh, toolbox and whatever you want to call it we have some parameters on delay timer only waits approximately sometimes for uh, switching on this element. We need to 2 seconds and here is our ma mi uh, milliseconds. Also we can select the minutes, hours or something else you want to select. Ok, let's press OK and let's uh, press F3 or the turbo simulation board and let's press it let's quickly uh, and clearly. Watch here, it will wait approximately 2 seconds and switch on and let's try again two seconds on delay delays on switching on and this is the greatest kind of timer and the very easy one will every time we'll utilize the second one is off delay timer the inverse work of on delay timer it's similar and the same thing uh, but off delaying two times uh, on delay let's uh, set the two second and here we have also reset button let's try to uh, from the simulation let's simulate it okay we have and waiting approximately when we off it it will wait three seconds and then off when we on and off it two seconds and will off let's press by resetting it now it I reset this is the work of off delay timer then we have the other one which is situator here and called the on off delay it's the uh, compound work of on and off delay joined together and we have also on delay and off delay parameters so two seconds is very quick to wait and let's press F3 from keyboard and let's uh, on it two seconds for on and after two seconds for off as usual two seconds take it take for offing and then another one which is the third retained retentive on delay timer and this timer is very uh, popular in logo PLC programming because they have some uh, advanced working kinds like let me show that and it doesn't need to wait approximately sometimes one uh, let me show again again this one on delay is that we have to press and wait two seconds we have to press and wait two seconds we press and we quickly it not work but in all delay in the retentive uh, on delay timer we didn't need to press and wait it approximately takes a little trigger inputs from our input this is the greatest thing of this element Okay, let's continue with uh, another kind of uh, rel uh, timer, sorry, and this is the whipping relay, pulse relay, something that called, and let's, uh, this is I guess the fifth one, this is this one, yes, when we open, let's try two seconds or three seconds, try three seconds, and the advantage of this kind of uh, timer here is all about that kind like let me show you it's a five time yes this is a wiping and it starts with our input it reaches in input and works like a off delay but in an another way like it starts with us and waits three seconds and offs 
switch off. It starts with us. We need to press it, you know. We need to press our input, and it's what start with us. Our triggering time, triggering input, and wait uh, the timing which we gave to this element to this timer. And let's go, uh, go ahead and continue with the edge uh, triggering whipping relay. And this is the my best favorite kind of uh, pulse, which uh, which uh, can adjust the pulse width interval between the pulse widths, and so. Uh, others, let's just select and unselect it. F3 I typed, and this is, and clearly watch, we have. Okay, we need only little trigger input, and it will wait approximately the parameters which we gave to them. It's also us usual. I also uh, always utilize this kind of timer in self-resetting systems, uh, also in. Uh, traffic lights it's very common to utilize this one uh, again another one is the asynchrone pulse generator which uh, generates asynchrone uh, pulse uh, timing pulses and we give the some parameters and it will flash in a kind if we give the one second for pulse width one second for pulse interval this kind of the one second weights one second pulse width interval and something this is a flashing kind of we can uh, utilize use this as a flashing kind of timer and it's very useful to utilize this one then again as a one is random generator it's also a very useful kind of element but it's just uh, gives us random we have the maximum value of on delay maximum value of off delay and within this maximum values it gives us some so random interval random pulse relay pulse width and something we shouldn't need in our programs you know just uh, imagine that sometimes it gives the two seconds with four seconds two and twenty five of the lane we need the something that now it gives approximately one uh, thirty uh, one seventy five and something it's just not usual to utilize this one in our PLC programming but uh, sometimes it's recurred demand by some elements then we have the stairway lighting switch also come on we have the off delay timing and we can also use this like pre warning time it warns us every time when we gave some times but also as a default we have the so, so 75 milliseconds and the, the 5 millisecond for waiting period and let's just uh, run this one and quickly it will demonstrate it but we will see firstly let's uh, try as default and then we will change it yes it gives a little impulse uh, before uh, switching off let's give it the 1.75 and 1.05 okay let's go ahead and this is the this is the warning time which we increased just increased to the 175 and 105 this is the this time it will wait and this one and the pre warning time we change that's why we are able to see it then we have the final which is here in my demonstration is the final one uh, multiple function switch which will multiply uh, switch on switch off beautiful thing about this uh, timer is the I I guess from my way of thinking this is the more most the smartest one of uh, smartest one uh, timer because you know it just uh, guess what we need from our now it will wait one second but in case of if we give a little pulse it will wait approximately two seconds yes which as we illustrated here off delay for off the lane it will wait approximately two seconds but permanent light it recurs one one second one second we have we have to reset then yes but uh, for uh, the impulses which uh, no longer than one second it will wait two seconds for off the lane 
yes, it's all about the timers. We have a weekly, yearly, astronomic watch, stopwatch, and sometimes we recur the weekly timers, yearly timers. But it's a common ways, common kinds of timers. It's all about logo is uh, are that. Thank you for watching and enjoy Wisdom PLC guide.